This is a call for an uprising. Welcome to today's show. I'm going to be doing this news segment, not all the time, but once in a while, maybe once a month or so, where we're going to watch something together, and I'll do commentary over it. Now, for those who want to see the video in its entirety, you can find it on my channel. And this is in regards to these Freemason rituals, which are just absurd. But I figure, hey, maybe we should watch one of these together again, like I did last, maybe a week or two ago. It's good fun for everybody. I mean, you got to laugh at some of the stupidity of this stuff that goes on and the people who actually want to participate in this kind of crap. So let's, <laughs> let's take a look at this video clip of a Masonic ritual reenactment. Roll the footage. All right, let's take a look at this clip. Which has been, may now, may now, right. or shall hereafter, or shall hereafter. Right, this guy's on his knees here. To me, be communicated to me, and charged. Some guy in the background with the a Abe Lincoln top. To oh my gosh! To any person this guy's got no shirt on. <laughs> Except it be to a true and lawful. All right. True and lawful. This guy's got his hairy chest out there and his uh, sleeping goggles on. Constituted. Or an illegally constituted Got his hands down there. I don't know what's in his hand. Maybe a, looks like his keys, his car. Maybe he wants to get out of there. So he's wearing a what appears to be Superman cape with no shirt and eye goggles. Interesting. And the guy in the background, you got to be wondering, right? What's he thinking? Is he thinking like, I got to I gotta go do the laundry after this? You know, I might pick up Chipotle. What are we going to eat? Right? I mean, he's sitting there. He's dead serious facial expression. This guy's got no shirt on and a cape. <laughs> right, he's taking his oath here. Now, is there a reason that he has to have his shirt off? Do Masons want to answer that? Is that something to make, make him feel vulnerable? Like, make him feel naked? I mean, I hope he's got pants on. Let's hope he's wearing something down there. Wouldn't be surprised if he's not, though. Which I may be beholden. Oh, where we go. Oh, boy. Sorry, it's ladies. I don't mean you to throw up your lunches stuff. there. But, uh, oh, it's getting romantic. I furthermore promise and swear. I oh. furthermore promise Are these two taken up? Are they getting married? I will aid and assist all poor distressed brother master masons. All poor oh, what a, that's a surprise. Masons masons coming to each other's defense. Haven't seen that before. Especially on YouTube, by the way. Whatsoever dispersed. Dispersed. Does he have a mustache too? He's rocking a little mustache. To be such. I further promise and swear. I further promise and swear. I will. Now this is a reenactment, so you got to feel bad for this actor. This has got to be his lowest role. I'll do signs and summonses. Sent me from a regular master mason lodge. Sent there from the regular master mason lodge. Or handed me. Or handed me. You think these guys get boring during this? By a brother master mason. Why can't he swear, see? Right? Swear, like, you can't even look at this guy? Is he going to, like, go blind if he, open, if he takes the thing off and he realizes what he's joining and doing? This is how they make good men better men, folks. Murder and treason. Murder and treason. accepted. Alone accepted. And these left to my election. And these left to my election. Election. I erection? No, we didn't say erect. erection. Oh, that's a little too, I will not cheat. Do a little too graphic for me here. My <coughs> brother, Master Mason. A brother, Master Mason. He speak won't. evil of his good name. Speak evil of his good name. All right. So that means that a, a Mason, I guess anyone, right, who has a Masonic Master Mason brother, he can commit any crime and he can't say anything about it. In my power to prevent. I furthermore promise and swear. You can now I kiss the groom. I swear I will not violate the chastity. I will not violate the chastity of a brother Master Mason's wife, a brother Master Mason's wife, <laughs> mother, mother, sister. Right, so I guess he can't. He cannot have an, a sexual relationship with another Mason's wife. Or suffer the same because there's some morals there. That's good to see. Within my power to prevent. Within my power to prevent. All right, get to. I furthermore promise and swear. I furthermore Boy, promise look at all this stuff. I will not be at the making. The guy in the background the must be like tranquil on tranquilizers to sit through this with his eyes open. He's like, hey, can I borrow your uh, your sleeping uh, you know, your eyewear there and take a nap? It's bright in here. Do you take this douchebag to be your lawfully wedded husband? 
I furthermore promise and swear. I furthermore <laughs> promise and swear. I will not sit. I will not sit in a clandestine. A clandestine Meanwhile, this guy is sadly is just losing hair minute by minute. Converse. It's like he's getting more bald by the second. Upon the secrets of masonry. Upon the secrets of masonry. With a clandestinely made With mason. a transvestite? With a made ma mason. Is that what he said? They were once suspended or expelled, you know, once expended or expelled right. from the regular lodge. So you got one guy with no shirts on, the other guy's got gloves on. You think he's like a germ germaphobe? I furthermore promise and swear. He's like, this guy's got his shirt off. I don't know if he's got deodorant on. I don't know what the deal is. He smells like coconut oil. Except in the way and manner, except in the way or manner in which I received it. In which I received At what point is he going to try to do the Superman fly? And then only in a low breath. Does he get to take the cape home? That's another thing you gotta wonder, right? Where does the cape go after this? Alright? You know what I mean? Is he taking the cape home? And if he is, is his wife gonna be like, why do you have a cape? And where did you get these new blindfolds? Did you take a, did you take a, a red eye from Newark to San Francisco and they gave you these goggles so you could sleep? What happened? They used to actually give those out on airplanes if you don't know. They, I don't think they do anymore. That's a cheap thing. Yeah. My body severed in twain. His body severed in twain. My bowels taken thence. Oh, my he's got bowels. I'm sure they're all having bowel movements sitting through this. He's giving me one. And those ashes scattered, and those ashes scattered to the four winds of heaven, to the four winds of heaven, so that there might remain, so that there might remain name, name, trace. Christ, nor remembrance, nor remembrance, <laughs> no more forever. What is in his hand? So vile wretch, so is that a compass or something? As I would be, as I would be, should I ever... Really, I'm a, I really feel like it's his car keys. Or knowingly, or knowingly, or knowingly, violate this. What would happen if, like, this this was real? Like, like somebody played this for this guy's wife. Mason, right? Mason. You think she'd be like, oh, crap. Help me God, this is embarrassing. Right? You think you know somebody until you catch them with their shirt off and a cape taking an oath to another dude while some guy in the background with a top hat staring at you. Now, is it the Holy Bible? The Masons will say yes, but we won't get into that. As we see this man now... Oh. The obligation of a candidate in the third degree of Freemasonry. Oh. The exact obligation given in every lodge in the United States of America. We will take a break at this time and come back oh, and talk about this. Thankfully, we're going to take a break. Well, that's a relief. Let me see. Scroll through here and see if there's anything else going on. All right. I know there's there's a ritual with their, where they're in, they have to actually lay inside of a casket. Oh, look at this pose. This is like Playgirl for these guys. There are very questionable things in the obligation we believe that this candidate should not have taken. One in particular would be, I promise he and took swear something? I will keep the secrets of a brother master mason. When communicated to me, murder I hope he didn't steal someone's alone lunch. accepted and these left for my election. If he kept the secret, all the mason... He better keep... The, uh, you know what they should just do? Why don't they just, instead of like threatening them with this stuff, and I think they use an actual sword. I don't know if they show it in this. It doesn't look like it as I look through it. Shouldn't they just be like, listen, you better keep the secrets of the Brotherhood, you know, or, or else, you know what? And he's like, what? We've been videotaping this. You know, you with no shirt on, wearing these goggles, and we're going to send it to all your friends. <laughs> and he'd be like, all right, I'll keep, I will keep the secrets. We cannot have that out there. That's like instant blackmail. But anyway, I guess that's the gist of the video here because it looks like I have to move on to another one with other clips. So I'll, I'll do that in a separate video. I don't want to bore anybody to death. I thought, hey, let's take a look at what these guys are up to, right? I mean, they're doing stuff in secret, kissing the Bible. Here he is. I mean, this is your right, this is your Freemason right here. Hey, listen, the Masons want to argue that they're not Satanists. They don't worship Lucifer. Never, we're not buying it. We're not believing it. But how about they come out and, and, and argue and debate this? Is this normal? Right? I mean, does anybody want to, to go through this? I mean, what is the purpose of this? Why is this guy... I mean, I would assume that they make you take your shirt and pants off. And I guess he's in his tidy whities with his poop stain. I would assume because it makes you feel vulnerable. Right? Because you have no clothes on and you're blindfolded. I mean, not the ideal situation, but, you know... 
if I was trying to <laughs> if I was trying to join something, which I would never join a club anyway, because well, for starters, I'm not, I don't like being parts of teams and club, you know. But uh, if I walked in and this was going on, I would do the fastest 360 out the door you could possibly imagine, or 180 out the door you possibly could imagine. I might actually try to grab those uh, those eye things though and run with them. Right? You can never have enough of those in case you're trying to take a nap during the day and it's bright out. But nonetheless, folks, this is what goes on in your local Masonic Lodge. Just normal behavior by grown men. Some dressing as Abe Lincoln. Others removing their shirt to re reveal their hairy chest. To take an oath to their brothers. Wearing a cape that belonged to Superman. Blindfolded. Welcome to Freemasonry, folks. <laughs> I thank you for listening to this special edition commentary. There will be more of these in the future, mixed in with my videos. I hope you enjoy it. Let me know in the comment section below. God bless all of you and your families.